Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Y'all thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you uh been watching my videos for a while and you have not already drop a line or love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know moi and um you know share give a thumbs up if you are able to raise that name and sending so much love up upliftment vibes frequencies that you're needing to keep you elevated keep you balanced across on all accords and you know just feeling the peace and love that you know we desperately deserve anybody who's coming in with nefarious vibe low vibes whatever Everything is strongly loved, highly protected, and always fiercely guided. So, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And the, today the video is going to be Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's understanding the subliminal on why all all had, had to take place. It's true. You know, we go through so many different things in life. Sometimes we can get it, we can understand why we had to go through things and stuff like that. But it's just like, it's been really intense for a lot of people lately. It just seems like you're doomed from the womb. And you're going through different things that's taking place in your life. And you really have to have a deeper understanding. You know, a lot of times, us being in our human experience, you know, we, we tend to take things personal. You know, I mean, if that's anybody, you know, that's going through different things. But these changes are truly, truly inevitable. You know, these are the different things when you're allowing yourself to be open. Even when you feel like you're not ready, the universe is going to say you better get ready. You know, be ready so you don't have to get ready. And you just really just like step back. And you may have been that person where it's just like you, you never get a break. There's always something that is just so extra in your life. Oh, my God, can we can we take a breather real quick? You know, feeling like you're on a roller coaster all the way around and can't get off. Like final destination to be continued. You know, <laughs> you got to be able to go through all those different things. But it's just like you're in the prime of your life where it's like either you're going to be aggressive with yourself or you're allowing yourself to, you know, find your way. You know, you're trying to really find your zen. You're trying to find things that you can strongly connect to. The things that you used to really enjoy at the time, it doesn't, you know, spike your interest as much as it used to. You know, you go through different things. You, you know, you connect with, you know, different uh uh, people energies and stuff like that and we're going through those massive changes because it's like it's been intense it's been really intense with these lunar eclipse and you know the flower lunar moon or whatever that was and you know full moon you know half moon whole moon whatever you've been going through different things and the changes are really taking place and you're just like you know i'm trying to find my way towards myself i'm really trying to be in that vibration so i can understand why certain things is taking place in my life and you know everybody got a subliminal it's just like you know um when you're when you're really trying to find out you on a different level or it's guiding you towards certain things it's like you'll be you know you'll listen to certain songs that strongly connects with you at that time or there'll be different movies that really connects with you that you're you know you're like wow you know you're seeing different things where it's giving you that subliminal on different things so why are you so strongly urged to watch this why are you so strongly urged to re research this or why are you str strongly urged um to play this is different things is where ancestors is really coming in heavy for us and you're re just really allowing yourself to see different things because at times you know you can be pessimist at times you can be optimist you know, we all go through our moments where it's like bad things are not always uh, taking place in our lives where, you know, you get tired of going through things. It's just like it seems like I'll never get a break. And there will be different times where it's just straight peaceful and you just trying to make sure, hey, did you did you hit the right person? You know, any other time you make me go through hell and they're like, oh, you're going to love this enlightenment or you're upgrading and stuff like that. Knowing they about to send some mess down to you is going to shake you to the core. And I'll just be like, you know, here we go again. But it's really challenging your strength and it's really wanting you to be challenged. You know, these are the different things you're going step by step where you're allowing yourself to heal. Even if di different things is like ish hitting a fan constantly or it'll be something that at one time it may have been that thing that triggers you. But then it'll be a time where you have done so much healing, so much cutting cords, you know, being um, in solitude where you're allowing yourself to give all your attention to self. 
you know, you may be going through that right now. You know, there's a lot of people that are going through, you know, uh, hermit mode. You know, it's telling you to step back. You know, this is at that time where you need all your attention, you know. And these are the different things that are taking place um, that are truly beneficial for you. You know, a lot of times, it's just like I said before, you know, my videos, there'll be times I used to love hanging out with a crowd. I felt like that was me being somebody, you know, just saying, oh, you know, I must be popular. I got all these people around me. And then it's just like when I woke up and it was just like you have associates and you got friends, you got soul family. You've been going through these different things where... You know, these things had to go on for a while and you didn't even understand. You know, was this like this the whole time? It was like, yeah, but you had to be able to go through those experiences. Um, whether it was negative or positive, it's still a part of your growth. And these are the different things where you can really sit back. And there'll be times, you know, just especially with me, that I can step here and cry. And it don't even have to be a depressing cry, but it's just like when you have seen how far you have came. There'll be different things that has popped off in your life that you could have told somebody and they're looking like, how the heck did you make it through that? You know, or, oh my God, you know, I don't know what I would do if I went through something like that. And then it's just like allowing yourself to know this is the, the guidance of, it's like the knowledge of life. You know, you're opening up your own Akashic records. You're finding out, understanding why you had to go through the certain things you went through. You know, even if you're not exactly where you want to be, it's like, you give yourself those, you know, those tiny victory celebrations, you know what I'm saying? Because you, even though you may not be where you want to be right now, you're in the midst of wherever, you know, God is placing you right there. You're dead smack dead in the middle of it. And you're understanding, you know, if I didn't go through these different things, if people didn't hurt me in life, you know, and I still try to find compassion out in the world, you have a beautiful heart. You know, and a lot of times, you know, I tell people it's like they see impasse as idiot written across their hand, you know, across their forehead because it's like your your kindness gets seeped for weakness. Or there's different people that come up and tell you their whole life story. I'm like, I don't even know this person. Why are they tell me all this or whatever? And it's just like universe sent them towards you. And it'll be those times where you're really not trying to you're really trying to understand your place and space in the world. And these are the different things that came into life where you can see where your moments where you are rock bottom there'll be different things you came out of life where it just felt like every time you mend your heart it got broken in a thousand pieces again and these are the different things that's taking place into your life where you are really being showed this is your potential there's so many people out here that feel like they're broken and they can't come back together but there'll be different times that you had to be that person that went through the worst in life and it led you towards something better. And then when you look back, you understand why you had those difficulties, you know. And it's, it's not an easy life for, you know, for anybody that has gone through a lot of trauma. You know, it'll allow you to look at the world differently, look at yourself differently, um, have trust issues. You know, you, you barricade yourself. And it's just like, you know, God, does, we're not put here to be barricaded in anything but there'll be different times where it's just like you can look at things and it really traumatized you in a life where you know you have been vulnerable and you got taken advantage of and these are the different things you're going through these heavy rotations of manifestations you're going through intense transitions and stuff like that and it's giving you a deeper understanding you know of why these things had to happen into your life how is this going to be applied to my growth you know, these different things, it felt like it was sent to destroy me, but it was your ultimate vindication, deliverance. These are the different things. You're going through redemption in so many different ways. And be, there's times where, you know, you didn't believe in yourself. You didn't know if you can make it through the next day. Um, it felt like you would never stop crying. It'll be just different things, especially when you start healing a lot. You get so daggone sensitive, and I'll be like, Ugh, I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry. You know, you've been with me for a while. There's a couple of times I'm like, mm, hold on, y'all. You know, and it'll get really emotional. It'll be an emotional moment for me. There'll be different times where I can sit up here and say I feel very blessed, even though I, I constantly go through different stuff in life. But it's allowing me to know these are the different things. When you are a warrior, you've been guided to be that person that is chosen to be a generational curse. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that's going to come to you easy. But then you're going to understand what kind of strength and power you hold. And a lot of times God will send you on that path like that. You know, it'll be just like, if God loved me, why he got you this? He's going to protect you. 
You know, even though it may, at times when we feel like we're alone, he's going to protect us because it's like if you look back, and I'm not talking about dwelling on the past, but you look back and you see all the different things that you have gone through. Normal people wouldn't have been able to make it as far as you have. And God doesn't want us doubting ourselves. He don't even want us doubting him. You know, but it's allowing you to see, I put you on this path for you to understand. I put you on this path for you to help other people. There's a lot of times where you say why it had to be me. And it's like why I can't be you. You know, it'll be those times where he hurt to heal you. He placed, you know, hatred, <laughs> you know, to uplift love. You know, chaos to give you clarity. These are the different things where you're understanding you on a whole new different level. It gives you an ultimate you know, spiritual subliminal into your life that, you know, there's so many different things that goes on in life and it will be these times where we really feel we can't make it. You know, these are the things where, you know, you're like, God, I'm tired. You know, I'm tired of going through all these different things. And he's like, don't give up. You know, you are in a vibration where you don't even see how you're elevating in so many different ways. And it gets, the more you still do that spiritual cleanse and cutting away from things that's no longer serving you, things start getting more intense. And these are the different things where he is putting you on the map to be able to show you. I believed in you. I gave you this, this assignment even before you were born. I allowed these certain things to happen for you to really seek who you are to the core. You don't allow somebody else to tell you who you are. You tell you who you are. These are the different things that you're knowing yourself in a, in a, in a way that you never knew yourself at. You know, and it'll be awakening the spirit, just like they say, you know, you're awakening a part of yourself that you did not know who you actually were at that time. And these are the different things that were showing you got strength, you have resilience, you know, you can be dedicated, you know, when you really know what you want in life and you keep going for it, no matter how many times you say no, how many times they don't open a door, there's somebody out there somewhere speaking about you, you ain't even met these people. Or you haven't even been in those rooms. And these are the different things where you're allowing yourself to really look back and say, you know, I'm glad God put me through a lot of these things. Because it really showed me, you know, even if I had held doubt in my life, there's a lot of different things that some people will not dare to even come into contact with them. And you bravely went, even if you were scared. And these are the different things where it's just telling you that little nudge is there. It's like you're going to have a whole new meaning of life. You're going to have a whole new meaning of being blessed. You're going to have a whole new meaning of abundance, prosperity, you know, just, you know, goal driven. And these are the things that makes you want to become better. You know, when you we have it's 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 like we have, you know, you have to keep balance. You're going through different life in life. You you have people that encourage you, nurture you. And there'll be a lot of times where you probably heard there's something about you that is really going to hit. And you'll be like, I don't know what it is. But there's something about you that's very, very, you know, strong. It's very potent about you. And you're like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> or be, you know, you're going to make a dent in the program. And you are. You know, you you got you a little Neo out there, you know, it's like Neo and then Morpheus and the Oracle and all that other stuff. You know, we all going through these things where we're breaking barriers of illusion. You know, we're not allowing ourselves to be fought by that, you know, be different things that we tolerate, you know, at one time. You know, it'll be different times. You probably, you know, allow people to take advantage of you and you had to go go through these different things where you're showing no means no. If I put these boundaries up and you don't respect them, that means you need to stay way over there. I'm not going to engage in anything that is going to make me have to match your energy if it's low level. If we can't meet right here or you a little bit higher or I'm, I'm a little bit higher. No, it's just what meant first connect and you go on about your business because there's a lot of different things that's taking place in your life where it could have been very low vibrational and you're allowing yourself to really see it's like that was i like this this whole time it's like you know was i it, was this been happening the whole time how come these things changed you know was this like this all the time it's like yeah it's been like this all the time and you had to be able to go through those experiences even if it hurt you or distracted you or destroyed you in some kind of way or it had he heavy deception in it. You had to be able to go through that. So anytime something like this happens again, you already know you can end it before it begin. There's a lot of times we get in a situation where we wish we didn't go down a certain direction or we wish, you know, we were at the wrong place at the wrong time or we were hanging out with the, you know, people that we really know we shouldn't have. But these are the things that you can either destroy you 
or this can uplift you in a massive way where growth is really hitting, you know, new tiers for you. And these are things that's taking place where you will step back and you will understand why you had to go through the things you had to go through. Why were certain things so hard on you? You know, it'll be a lot of times where you it just seemed like you is one after another after another. Like you got a, a cloud over your head. <laughs> it was like one of them, you know, them black clouds and stuff like that. And it really had to, you know, God really tested you. You probably heard God, you know, you're God's favorite. You know, like, dang, if I'm God's favorite, I hate to see what he would do if I was like a redheaded stepchild. You know, it'd be one of those different things. But no, he puts you to the test like that because he sees something you you may not see. There's a lot of times that people even tell you about yourself. You'd be saying some real, you know, real positive things. Either it's just like, ooh, there's something about that person's energy. You know, the right people is going to gravitate towards the, the wrong people. Is either going to make them want to, you know, convince you of every negative aspect in life you never thought about, want to put doubt on your vibe, or it's going to make them run away. It'll be different times like that. You'll notice, like, the more you keep healing, you know, it'll be those energies that they can't flow with you like that. You know, but and it's just like God took you out of that crowd. That's not your crowd. They want you to, um, you know, open yourself up to things and people that match the energy that you're you're creating within yourself. You'll notice that. You know, it'd be those different times where you you may deal with you know toxic people as well as within yourself. Because there's a lot of times we hold toxicity and it could be the norm for us. And then when you start doing spiritual research, you're like, wait a minute, hold up, wait a minute. I gotta, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm giving them a vibe, a sociopath or a psychopath or a narcissistic personality disorder and all these different things. And when you're allowing yourself to be transparent like that, yeah, I got toxic ways, I got toxic habits. Because it wouldn't leave it a beaver at my house. <laughs> you know, these are the things, this is, you know, low vibrational where I've been exposed to that. And there's a lot of times you had to be exposed to that for you to understand why this is a, a dire need for these things to change why these are taking place into a life where Hugh's transition really needs to take place into your life and in your understanding that you know and a lot of times when we go through things especially if it has something to do with your parents and stuff like that you hold that and guards like they taught me this they taught me that but you have to be able to step back you know and I know there's a lot of different people that went through some intense abuse trust me I know but it'll be different times I really had to step back and just see they're only learning they're only you know they're only transfer you know transferring their knowledge from what they believed and how they grew up and those are the different things so it's just like a lot of times you couldn't really go through some heavy stuff when it comes to your parents very diabolical <laughs> you know it's like abomination type stuff but there'll be different times where you can see, okay, you know, my family don't went through some very, you know, tough times or it was very low vibrational and this is all they knew, you know, and it, it, it takes a lot. And I tell people a lot of times, it takes a lot for you to be able to say, you know, I add towards my suffering. You know, you're not being a victim type, but you, you know, I participated in some of those things because a lot of times we open that door to receive that drama. We open up that door to embrace negativity. And it'll be at that time where God is showing you you're loving yourself. When you love yourself, you're being very selective about what you entertain, what you come close encounter with the third kind type situation. You're not allowing yourself to tolerate certain things that should be unintolerable. And you're going through that growth where you're seeing that you're not even allowing yourself to be, uh, you know, you ain't manipulating me. Or you ain't gonna, you know, you ain't gonna trigger me. You're not gonna do this. You know, because you're showing people how you want to be treated. You know, and those are the different things where you're not going to be at pushover. When you mean no, you mean no. And don't feel bad because you said no. You shouldn't have to be obligated just because somebody did something a certain way. you obligated to do something that, that way. No, you do something because it's coming from the heart. Don't do it because you feel like, oh, I'm doing something back towards that person. No, you're learning each and every day through these corrections in life, you know, educating yourself in life. You know, and a lot of us, we really go through some tough times, you know. And these are the different things that really want to uplift you. And it's just like I know you went through so many pains and heartache. You know, people left you, people abused you, neglected you, didn't believe in you, laughed at you, placed doubt, doubt and fear into your life. But I really want to show you how special you are to me. You know, I want you to see how you within your vibe. You know, I'm not asking you to change the world, but even if you can, can connect with one or two people and you get them on that vibe to let them know miracles happen every day blessings happen every day and a lot of times we won't see that especially if we're going through constant wars all the time it'll really be hard 
You're like, how am I going to be able to believe in something when I have all this hellish stuff that happened in my life? I'm going to give you the subliminal. There's a lot of times for me to be able to God saying to you, if I'm going to bless you, I need you to get right with yourself. You know, because the, the where you're at, how you speak on things, how you speak to yourself, what kind of company you keep. I can't give you the blessing that I really have for you until you disconnect from these things that's holding you back. You're holding you back. Don't allow yourself to get permission to break your own heart. And these are the different subliminals you're going in where you're adding a lot of joy and love to yourself. You know, there'll be different times where I, I can go through serious depression and I'll go there, you know, I'll be there in that negative vibe, but then it'll be those times where I get goofy. <laughs> you know, I'm like, uh-uh, I'm not going to be in this vibe all day. I ain't going to do it. You know, I'm just not going to do it. And, you know, and I just start getting silly. That's what us as hell can do. We can't do everything seriously. We got to throw a hee-hee and a whole lot of ha-ha in there. got to have weight on it. But these are the different things that took place where it can be beneficial. Because of the times you had to be able to go through things. And he'll put you in those most drastic situations that you don't even see a way out of it. But you know how they say, God can open a door that no man can't shut. You know, no matter who's against you, if God got you, why are you worried about all that? You're validating your own self. You ain't caring about what people say about you out there in the street. You ain't care about what other folks are, you know, trying to create that. Because when a lot of people can't stand the good in you, they want to be able to trade, to trade all this stuff about you in the bad. You know, but you're not allowing yourself to worry about that because you know who you are. You're secure within yourself. So these are different things where God wanted you to be sure about yourself. And I mean, ultimately sure. You can't allow, no, only God can be able to tell you what you are. Nothing like this outside can be able to do it. You know, people don't know a lot of the battles you face. You know, you're probably that type of person that you don't even want to put that on somebody. You know, I was like, I don't want to be a burden to nobody. You know, everybody having a good day and trying to go through that and stuff like that. And you, you, you get towards that point where you're really getting to know yourself. And I mean, you're learning yourself in such a higher perspective. And those are the different things where you're forcing yourself to be like that. Because this is at that prime in time in life where you're getting real edgy with your own self. And I'm not talking about dangerous edgy, but I'm talking about something where you're determined. These are the different situations that I've been placed in. I know I'm going to see myself out of it. I'm speaking blessings all through my life. That's what I'm claiming. I ain't claiming no negative stuff. Because that means you placing it on your life. You're making that negative situation your reality. But you're allowing yourself to know this too shall pass. You know, this, this situation is only for a moment. You got blessings of a lifetime coming. That's why you had to go through the hard stuff you go through. That's why you had to take the people out and they weeded those out. Because it's like when God is like that with you, he will hide you in plain sight. He don't want to show people all the beautiful things he got in store for you. He wanted you to be down in the dump so bad. He wanted to see who was going to be riding with you. Who was going to be your ace. You know, who was going to be there for you no matter what. Good time, bad time, or anything. Even if they couldn't even give you something financially, they were still that person to encourage you to let you know, hey, you got me. You know, you, you know, if I can help you, I will. You know, or if you need an ear or a shoulder, you're here. They try to show you that because a lot of times people want your glory but don't want that story. They don't want to process about that mess, but they definitely want that outcome. But they're not really realizing that test of, of a process is what is determining them. Are you going to be a part of that outcome? And these are the different things where you understand why you had to go through what you went through. God wants you to be able to see the different things he placed in you. You know, there's a lot of times it's like your enemies as well as the devil and, you know, other people out here. They will, you intimidate the heck out of them. They threaten by you. There'll be different times you and you, you just say hi to people. They are giving you the gas face. They don't even know you. You know, but your energy is so intimidating like that. But then you're going to come across these people that are going to sniff and like, oh, whoa. They're very genuine. I got to hook up with somebody like that because they ain't playing the role of the okie doke. They like their face. They ain't got to wear these masks. They're comfortable with walking out of the matrix and not being dumbed down by wanting to stay asleep. And I'm not calling nobody no dummy. That ain't what I'm doing. But it's like, you, shoot, you certain situations where I'm like, hey, dumb it down, got, dot com for me. Can you put this in simple words so I can understand what you're doing? <laughs> you know, be those different things. But there'll be a lot of things where people don't want to wake up because that mess is a little bit too real. But you ain't one of those people. You know, you had to be able to go through all these different things to be able to see that light in your moments of darkness. Seeing you can still bloom. That's that seed you planted a long time ago, but you had to, it had to be preparated, you know. And that's where we go in the darkness, be able to do these things. We're facing old wounds in our life. You're allowing yourself to be fair with yourself. Because there's a lot of times we become very 
very, very, very tight with our pain, our anguish, all these different things that are very low vibrational where we feel like we don't deserve anything good is in our lives or we're, we're being told that. You're not worthy of love. You're not wor worthy of friends or anything like that. That nefarious type vibe, you know, is breathing death and fear all up in your life. And you get to that point where you fed up, you know. You're not listening to that. I know I'm a good person. Even if I don't be around people like that, I know I'm a good person. And you just start feeding that towards yourself. And I'm like, right now you may be on a journey where you're really by yourself. And that's okay, you know. But you you getting all those people out of your life that's not meant to be there. They already had their expiration date. You had to go through these situations. So if you see these red flags, you ain't going to get comfortable with collecting red flags. You're going to end that before it truly begins. Like, no, I'm good. You know, and going about your business. There ain't nothing personal. You know, but I'm on that vibe where I'm stepping back and doing me. I'm just getting to that vibe where I want to be in the vibrations that we right here. You know, or you taking me to that next level. We're all doing that with each other. We're learning, you know, getting out that survival. But just being able to live, you know, push that off towards our generation of legacies. You know, we all had different issues. It was passed by by family after family. But there'll be a, you've been that person where they know you're about to make the world turn in so many different ways. You don't know what your experience can do to a lot of people that doubt life. That life can't be good. You're breathing love, you know, living, you know, breathing love when you're surrounded by hate. You know, you're showing your light even when you're in the midst of darkness. You know, you give hope in the middle of doubt. And a lot of times we don't see that until we see the subliminal of what was taking place in our life to really uplift us in magical ways. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Y'all, thank you so much for the support, the views, the comments. I really appreciate it. I would love to give a post notification shout out. Uh... To Samantha, welcome to the fam. Thank you for subscribing. Um, Sheena Coleman, much love to you as well. Welcome to the fam. And Joseph uh, Naz Pierce, welcome to the fam. Oh, and yes, most of us, uh, more of us, if you're watching this video, they got their own channel too. They're talking about Hayokas and all spiritual things like that. I was brought by their their um, channel yesterday, and it's very beautiful. I got different other people. I got to stop by their channel too because you know I want to be able to support everybody. You know, and just we're we're all learning and growing with each other, and we're. You know, we're collecting on that indigenous tribes and stuff like that. So it, it's just be beautiful. We, we can all share different experiences and information we can all really truly benefit off of and get to know. So um, thank you for those, you know, um, through all your ways and days. You know, I'm sending so much love, light, calmness, elevation, and balance towards your life on everything you're going through. Knowing good days are coming for you blessings are happening every day as well as miracles so stay woke don't sleep on yourself know your potential know your light even through social distancing make sure you give out love light positivity words about frequencies you never know all those things can really take you along take somebody a long way and just because you did that with you know with positive intent it's going to take you even further so much love namaste shalom god bless peace